Hey everybody, welcome to Rotter Tube Brief, Saltwater Aquarium Care, new video every Saturday. And we go live Friday nights and we hang out with subscribers and talk about saltwater aquariums. And we usually get off track on other topics like music and everything once we hit the saltwater aquarium care discussion for that night. It's a lot of fun. So don't forget to check us out at RotterTubeBrief.com. It's a cool forum. If you sign up, uh, you get a free ebook on how to kill the ick parasite in marine velvet. It's a free download. Um, it guarantees getting rid of ick and marine velvet out of your aquarium forever. And that book is also available on Amazon as a download for like five bucks, but you can get it for free if you sign up. And then I don't use your email for anything other than alerting you guys to like contests and when I'm going live and stuff like that. I don't do many contests, but in the rare event that I do them, you'll be notified through that, uh, through the website. Don't forget to check out our Facebook group and all the stuff that I use. I've got links to everything in the video description of all the videos. So if you're interested in something, check out the video descriptions um, and then uh, the links will bring you right there. So today I wanted to talk about, this is geared towards the beginner. We've got a lot of beginners joining us in the saltwater aquarium hobby, welcome. And I wanted to talk about one of the dangers to starting a saltwater tank and that is ammonia. As you can see, just quickly, I don't have any sand in the bottom of my tank. I removed it about, I don't know, four or five, month, five months ago. There's a little bit left that I couldn't get out I'll be siphoning the rest of that out. I do miss the sand, to be honest, but no sand bed means the guys have more swimming space by a few inches because the tank is a little deeper. It's a lot easier to clean because all I have to do is siphon this out with a siphon and stuff doesn't get trapped in the sand bed. When I took the sand out, it was a huge mud sink and it was filled with just garbage. My nitrates have been lower. The tank looks cleaner. Of course, someone just went to the bathroom. That's what all this stuff is. One of the big tangs, probably the, I know it's this guy here, the Fowlery tang. You are a pig. You know that? So when you start an aquarium, the big thing is you want to have fish in your tank right away. Hey, what are you doing? Leia. Hi, baby. Good looking girl. Hi, sweetie. Yes, I know. You're going to say hi to everybody? That's a good dog. Nope, it's not time to fight. We'll do that later. Um, okay, so when you start a saltwater aquarium tank, you go to the store, you get your tank, you get your salt water, and um, you want to put fish in it right away. Obviously, you don't want, no one wants to have an empty tank, right? And I was guilty of this too when I started, but you can't do that. And I've got a lot of videos on why. And at the end of this video, I'll link a video as to why you cannot do it for more details. But the bottom line is, when fish go to the bathroom, or when fish eat, or if they don't eat all the food, and it settles in the bottom of your tank, all that stuff breaks, the, and even when they breathe, all that process breaks down into the first stage of the nitrogen cycle which is ammonia. Ammonia is toxic. Ammonia is toxic to any living creature and if the fish breathe it, it attacks their nervous system and they will die. And when you have a tank, even one as big as this, let's say I set this 125 gallon tank up today for the first time and I put all these fish in it, ammonia levels will reach a toxic state within half a day and I've done tests on this and it's amazing how the ammonia goes from zero to deadly in half a day so you can buy test kits which you get a test tube you know you would take some water you put some drops in you wait five minutes you shake the test tube you wait some more well what I recommend and I always keep one here even though I don't need it, is an ammonia badge. Check it out. This is by Seachem, however you want to say it. 
and it just sticks to the inside of your tank and it always tells you if I can get closer here the yellow is safe the green on the left is alert the top is alarm and the right is toxic the blue the center circle tells you what the state is so this is constantly monitoring your tank water it's yellow which means there's no ammonia in here I love this you just walk up to your tank take a glance and you're done this tank has been up for a while so there's not going to be any ammonia in it because there's a lot of bacteria eating the ammonia bacteria lives in your rocks and in your sand even though I don't have any sand it lives in your sump and on your glass and everything in there so all this bacteria is breaking down the ammonia so that is how your fish are able to thrive and all the life in your aquarium by the way so I just put this in here just because I like to have it I just actually installed it last week I went for months without it because I don't need it but it's just it's just an extra little precaution I can't seem to focus but that's okay so here's what it looks like in the package and I have a link to this in the video description ammonia alert by Seacom, Seachum, whatever now when you take this out of the package it's going to have a clear plastic covering over the badge to protect it when you take this off do not touch the center color because the oils from your finger will ruin the test results so don't touch that center thing just peel the sticker off inside put it inside your tank and it takes about a day to calibrate so I recommend this it's like five bucks or something like that a link to this in the top comment in the video or in the video description with everything else so get one of those I highly recommend it and that's it for this week be nice if they had badges for everything you know but they don't they have badges for pH but reading the reviews I don't think they work too good but other people rave on it I don't I don't know I just have it for ammonia and it works awesome I've ran tests with this against ammonia test kits and it's perfect it works great so that's it I'm gonna do my water change now any questions please feel free to post a lot of the subscribers are, subscribers are very active in answering questions in our Facebook group and on the website rotter2brief.com and here in the uh, comments so post away enjoy your tanks and I'll see you next week by the way look at how little rock I have in here I'm in the process of getting some new rock and doing a different aquascape I think and there's not much rock in here but yet the ammonia levels are zero so there's plenty enough bacteria in the tank so don't let anyone tell you oh you need so much rock and you need oh my god you no 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 because I'd rather have swimming space for the fish and they're all doing just awesome and there's not much rock okay so that's it and there's there's like no sand so there's plenty of bacteria and everyone's doing just great yes it looks kinda of boring I got a couple new corals they're in the coral quarantine tank which you'll see uh, soon it's also in a previous video I quarantine everything before I put it in the main tank here including inverts because I don't want to risk there being any parasites on anything so I put them in a new fish going to fish quarantine for six weeks with a half dose of cupramine copper solution to kill any parasites that are on them before they see this tank and that's all in the free download book also I have a quarantine tank a separate one that I put all snails and then shrimp and corals that I will buy and that does not get any um, copper solution because it kills corals and inverts especially like almost instantly so I just leave them in there for six weeks because the, the parasites they only eat fish and if there's no fish the food source is gone and parasites will all die out but for fish if there's parasites on the fish that's why you have to use copper to kill the parasite in the fish quarantine tank okay 
Everyone's doing really nice and peaceful. All right, everybody. See you next week. Enjoy your tanks. And I'll see you next time.